like to get candidates. Come with me. Yeah, it might just be your ID badge, but I try to capture the essence of every Prince employee. Here, sign this. I'm Andy Ackerman, security. I don't miss much. Hey, I'm Jason Williamson. I guess you're wondering what I'm doing with a steering wheel, right? Steering wheel? Oh, that, uh... No, I assumed it was a keychain. No, no, I, I just don't want my Jeep stolen. Uh, you don't have to worry about that with me around here. Um, isn't that hairspray? Yeah, well, I sort of flunked mace class. Oh, you think? Know, you blind one instructor, they make you wait six months. Yeah. Oh, here, don't lose this, baby. You can charge anything in the store with it. 10% off, too. Come with me, I'll help you check in. Thanks. Um, I'm supposed to report to a Mr. James. Do you know? Oh, boy, yeah. Has the shipment arrived from Hoffman Kern again? It's coming in this afternoon. Not good enough. I want it this morning. That's impossible, sir. Nothing is impossible. Impossible is a dirty, dirty word. Dust. Pardon me? I smell dust. Dust your counter. Make a showplace of the workplace. Make, Make a showplace, showplace of, of the, the workplace. workplace. I want a major employee turnout at the airport tonight. This whole event has to go off without a hitch. Otherwise, heads will roll. He's not kidding. That's him right there. Mr. James, Mr. James. I'm so sorry. It was an accident. It will never happen again, I promise. Excuse me, Mr. James? Not now. An accident? You destroy a mannequin during store hours, and you call it an accident? <clears throat> Mr. James, not now. What do you do, Albert? I work for Mr. Montrose, sir. On the Hauptmann Koenig presentation? Mr. James, I... Not now. Do you realize how important that presentation is? The cream of Philadelphia society is going to be here. The eyes of the entire city will be on that presentation and on this store and on me. Do you understand? Yes. And have you learned your lesson? Yes, sir. Good. You're fired. For best effect, deplore neglect. Demand respect. Deplore, Deplore neglect, neglect. Demand, demand respect. respect. Now, <laughs> um, I'm Jason Williamson. I, I think I'm supposed to report to you. I'm the, the new trainee. Ah, well, lucky you. Seems we have an opening on Mr. Montrose's staff. Just because Hoffman Koenig is grabbed does not mean that we have to be. I'm going to breathe some light into this presentation. Remember, the password is Pizzazz! Stop! Wait! Do you remember Miss Diana Ross in the movie Mahogany? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give me cheekbones or give me death. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Five, six, Seven, eight. Mr. James is coming! Mr. Ooh. James is coming! Let the children scatter! Oh. Bring down the curtains! Oh, yeah, Montrose! Montrose! I need to talk to you! The wizard's not here. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Montrose. <laughs> Laughing, joking, kidding. <laughs> I'd like you to meet your new assistant. What, what happened to Albert? Albert was a blemish on the face of Prince and Company. I fired him. Just like you did those 18 other assistants? <laughs> Guess there's no use in worrying about the pension plan around here, huh? <laughs> He's got a sense of humor. I like that. We can use that around here. <laughs> No peeking. Why won't you let me see it? Because I am an artiste. You wouldn't want to interrupt the creative flow, would you? Montrose, this show will be elegant and demure, won't it? No crazy stuff. You have my word. Fine. 
The pursuit of excellence begins with elegance. The pursuit of excellence begins with elegance. I haven't been elegant and demure since I graduated from finishing school. Woo! Entree! She's pretty. What is all this enchanted peasant girl stuff? Oh, it's a typical old world tale. Girl meets prince. Evil sorcerer turns girl into wood for a thousand years. Lord knows how. Wooden girl becomes major tourist attraction. Yeah, that's pretty typical, all right. Would you like to try one of our new no, fragrances? Thanks. Ooh, taboo, how mysterious. Hit me again, Gail. You never buy Hollywood. Well, now that is because I am constantly evolving. <laughs> Put it right here, Jason. How about a gift for your girlfriend? Oh, I don't have one. So you're looking. Um, for true love, yeah, sure. <gasps> true love is like the Loch Ness Monster. Everyone has heard of it, but no one has ever seen it. I have. No, I don't know. I think there's someone out there for everyone. I couldn't agree more. You just have to follow your heart and your nose. Well, my, 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 aren't we the little coquette? Forgive me if I'm wrong, but Jason, I think that if you asked Gail out, she would probably say yes. Am I hallucinating Gail? Oh, excuse me, I'm beeping. <laughs> Pardon moi. Put it right there, Jason. Well, I am free Friday. Jason. I'm free too, Gail. Well, well, why rush it? I mean, looks like we're gonna be working here together. Why don't we just, you know? Something terrible has happened. The enchanted peasant girl has been in an accident. Come on, we must go. Follow me. Move your buns. Still free Friday. My little dip and tuck dairy air is gonna be in a sling if anything happens to that statue, those clothes, or the royal jewels. I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. Oh, it's just the word jewels. I have these beads and baubles, mementos of old flame, souvenirs for old Mr. Left Behind Hollywood. Oh, it's just so cheap and tawdry. Well, at least they thought enough of you to give you the gifts. <gasps> I bought them myself. <laughs> You're the doors. All my years on the force, I never saw anybody more stupid than you guys. The sign said, keep right. To the end of the bridge, where the street is. Hoist her up. But the peasant girl. I'm gonna go. Get out. No. I'll save you. Oh, Chivalry's not dead. Where is Jacques Cousteau when you need him? 